G'day, this is James and Simon at a very special South OC Cars and Coffee. What's today, James? Toys for Marines, one of our favourite events of the year. Absolutely. We've been doing this for four or five years now uh, alongside of the local Woody Club, and these guys do a great job of bringing together toys for Marines whose uh, the kids of Marines are actually deployed or just going through financial hardship. So really proud to be part of this. But aside from the toys for Marines, there's some cool stuff going on, some cool cars. What have you seen? There's some great stuff. There's a really low mileage R34 GTR in the front row and then there's a fully built GT2 RS with about 1100 horsepower a black wow. one that we're gonna check out but yeah no there's some good stuff today and uh, talk to us about Acura we have some special cars as well we, from the factory we do yeah so we have a prototype uh, I believe it's an Integra that we have here the yellow one and then we yep. also do have the new uh, NSX it's the revamped NSX type S so super cool really nice spec on it too kind of like a red black interior with a frosted gray paint on it it's very very cool yeah it looks great great to see those cars there's some really cool stuff some great uh, hot rods and classics as well. Hey, let's go for a walk and check it out. Here's something you don't see every day. Three Ford GTs in a row. All different colors as well. This is awesome. Uh, we have Jay Philippa, who's one of the uh, event photographers for the show, and then two other random Ford GTs that just decided to show up, but worked out pretty well because we had a few spots open and we could chuck them all together. All of them had different interiors too. This has some nice like white seat inserts. This one's all blacked out. All very cool cars. This one also does have a Whipple supercharger on it. You can see through the back glass there. So it's gonna be pushing some serious power. I'm pretty sure that these have the four liter Whipple that you can put on them, but very, very cool. Special car right here. Look at this beautiful McLaren Mercedes joint build. This beautiful SLR. These cars are worth an absolute fortune these days. Great to see them in the flesh. Really ahead ahead of their time, both in looks and performance. And the styling on the front really uh, started a trend within AMG and Mercedes designs with that. Uh, low slung nose like that. Isn't it a beautiful car? Great to see. So as if the standard 991.2 GT2 RS wasn't crazy enough, here we have John from Garage Goals with his insane murdered out 991.2 GT2. This thing's absurd. It makes about 1200 horsepower. Pretty much everything on it's custom built by Bowden Auto House in a Costa Mesa. Into the custom fab exhaust, quad pipes, with uh, all the titanium goodies in there. Nice little gold foil action. Carbon everywhere, nice set of HRE wheels on it, wrapped in some uh, Michelin Pilot Cup 2Rs. So you know this thing hooks, but 1200 horsepower made it to a seven speed PDK transmission and rear wheel drive. I bet this thing is an absolute handful. If you are looking for Christmas presents, presents for holidays, look no further than the merch at South OC Cars and Coffee. Great range of t-shirts, uh, long sleeve teeth, license plate surrounds, jet tags. We've got stickers, we've got hats, and uh, it, you name it, we've got it. So put together a goodie bag for your loved ones of South OC Cars and Coffee merch. This wasn't what I was expecting. A couple of the YouTube guys showed up. We have uh, Skinny's World, some random i8. But then we do also have Damon and Dave pulling up in the uh, SVJ, which I'm still yet to see with this new livery, and the ridiculous 488 wide body as well. This thing is just absolutely insane. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Thanks for coming out. Let's get you some spots. I haven't seen the 488 yet. I'm excited. Alrighty, now that Dave and Damon have parked, let's take a look at these two gorgeous cars. We have the SVJ, it's the same one that we've had here before. Previously it was yellow, but now he's gotten this thing wrapped. And then also the 488, which we've never had at the show. I'm super stoked to have it out. Uh, it has a full GT3 wide body kit on it, so you can see it's way wider than a normal 488. It has these aggressive looking carbon mirrors on it. And something crazy that uh, Damon was telling me is that this is the exact same wrap that he had on his 458, which was actually one of the cars that kicked off his channel. This ridiculous build that he did probably five or six years ago. But yeah, we're stoked to have these at the event.
This is a really special day of the year for us. This is our Toys Marines. Today we have the SoCal Woody Club who comes along and organises this each year and they've done it at uh, previous car shows before South OC Cars and Coffee existed. Such a great event to be associated with. All of these toys that you're seeing here and more, which I'm sure we're going to see coming up as well, are going to the children of uh, Marines who are either deployed or going through financial hardship. You know, I think one of the important things to remember is that it's not just the people that are in the service themselves who are making the sacrifice. These kids and the, the spouses of the deployed uh, Marines are also making sacrifices as well. So given the fact that we are so close to Camp Pendleton and in fact we have a lot of Marines who volunteer here at South OC Cars and Coffee, it's a great thing for us to be part of. So these cars that we can see along here, this is all part of the SoCal Woody Club. They have been putting on this show, as I said, for many years. We are really proud to be associated with it at South OC Cars and Coffee. Supporting the Toys for Marines today, we have the local Corvette Club. Big thanks to Bob, who's standing up here, who helped uh, organise these guys. Bob, thank you for organising this, mate. Really appreciate it. Really, really great. Great range of Corvettes. Over 30 Corvettes this morning. Really pretty 1955 Corvette here. This is absolutely gorgeous. All original under there. Very, very early example of the Corvette. The amazing thing with this car is all the body lines are actually really good as well. It's very difficult to maintain that, of course, with a fiberglass body because things can tend to sag, but oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Really, really impressive car. That interior is so beautiful. Very nice indeed. One of the first cars that I uh, had come in today was this gorgeous new Acura Integra prototype that Acura North America decided to bring out to the event today. It's finished in a color called Indie Yellow Pearl, which is actually a color from the NSX, like the one next to it. Uh, it pays homage to the Phoenix Yellow, which is one of the original colors from the Integra back about 20 years ago. But this thing's cool, it's awesome. It's a one and a half liter inline four, producing some pretty good power. Uh, blacked out windows just because we can't see the interior just yet, although it does have a six-speed manual inside. Big brakes and some aggressive looking five-spoke wheels, black accents all over it. I think this is going to be a killer car for modification once it comes out next year. So, uh, walking around and uh, we've come across this Thunderbird. Bob, tell us why this, uh, Bob, of course, one of our volunteers, Bob. Tell us why this car is so special and why you think it's a contender for Car of the Week. So this is a 1963 Thunderbird uh, Principality of Monaco edition. So I was pretty young when it came out, but you can see the sticker that says... Uh, uh, down over here, there's yeah, a little... Correct. Principality of Monaco uh, edition. The roof on this car, uh, they had Thunderbirds at that era had vinyl roofs, but this one had very unique brown color with this texture. My sense is this is not original because it's, it's quite old, but the reproduction is extremely nice on this. The paint is absolutely beautiful on it too, but very rare. They made 2,000 of them in 1963. This one's in very, very nice shape. Well, 
Mate, always appreciate you sending the, through the photographs. Bob will send me photos of cars he sees as as we walk around as potential car of the week. Yeah, this is certainly a contender, mate. Yeah, so contender, contender's good. Thank you for pointing it I'm out. I'm not that I'm biased for Thunderbird. Yeah, Bob I has a, a at Thunderbird himself. So, but it's a Bob's is a four door. This one is obviously not four doors. It's got uh, two doors. This is kind of cool, isn't it? Belvedere. Look at this thing, very neat. Hood sitting up on the top of it there, but this is the muscle car from years gone by. Check out under the hood. Very cool. I always love that uh, spacing of those intake manifolds, obviously designed to get as much air, cool air into the motor as possible. They look so good. 
very, very different from anything else around. Great looking car. That's it for another week of South OC Cars and Coffee. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, follow, share, and subscribe. What a great turnout, hey, today. It was a killer turnout today. Yeah, tons of cars. Great event, as always. We love doing our Toys for Marines event every yeah. single year. Huge shout out to all the sponsors for making this show possible. We have McGuire's, Polestar, Share Your Car, Next Level Detailing, Teen Road to Safety, Pacific Echo, BMW Performance Center West, and then Sweet Orange Adventures. A huge shout out to all the volunteers for making this happen each and every week. We couldn't do it without them. Uh, remember, if you do want to become a volunteer, hit us up on Instagram at South OC Cars and Coffee Merch. It's our merchandise page that doubles to, as kind of like a volunteer roster. You do get to bring your car in early, and then Ruby Santa does also provide a free coffee and donut for anyone that's helping out the event. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks to Ruby's for bringing out the coffee and the donuts every week, and also, of course, the Rockwells for feeding the masses. Really appreciate it, guys. And of course, a big thank you to Outlets of San Clemente for allowing us to be here. We couldn't do this show without them, so make sure to support all the stores uh, inside the Outlets. Come do your Christmas shopping here, yeah. Absolutely, and I was about to say, if you're still looking for gifts, either come to the Outlets or make sure to check out our merch page. Uh, there's lots of great T-shirts, license plates around, stickers, all that sort of stuff. Make your, your, your car family and friends goodie bags for all the South Sea Cars and Coffee merch as well. Hey, have a great week. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee. Thank you, guys.